are we? Oh, I'm on. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone. Hey, um, I'm just going to turn the camera around now. Lucky I wore some makeup today. <laughs> I'm helping Sean out by um, recording this for him. Um, I miss you all. I hope that we get to see you guys soon in the space. Um, but until then, we have lots of fun activities, this being one. So welcome to Sean, Bob Rossing, inspired by Catherine's version of Michelle doing her art, I guess. Here we go. Hey, there you are. Hi, everyone. <laughs> welcome. Uh, me today. Uh, a lot of people know me know I'm a... Oh, is that all right? Yeah, no, it didn't break. That's cool. <laughs> um, a lot of people that know me know that I'm uh, a bit of a big Bob Ross fan. So much so, I even... I even Bob got a Bob Ross tattoo. Uh, oh, dry leg. Uh, <laughs> even got a Bob Ross tattoo. Uh, about five years ago, I got into... Oh, it was five years about that. I got into art, um, started watching... Um, Bob Ross videos. I don't even think it was that long ago, was it? Maybe four years. Yeah. Yeah, got uh, into Bob Ross video, uh, videos, which you can watch all of Bob Ross's stuff on YouTube uh, from the very first episode all the way through. Uh, Bob Ross unfortunately passed away in the early 90s. Uh, he uh, did a lot of art. He never sold any of his art. Really? Never sold it. He only sold the, uh, the brushes... The stuff that he used, the paints, and he did the show on public access Because you can still buy the paints online and stuff, Bob Ross brand paints, Hard I think. Hard to get in Australia. Yeah. Easy to get in America. Okay. Um, the Bob Ross company still goes. His partner in the company, she still runs it. Um, and they recently had a, at the end of last year, a, a exhibition in the in the US, um, a very important uh, museum art gallery. Uh, and it was quite popular. So they, they had to dig up a lot of the, the paintings that Bob Ross had done over the years that were all stored away at this um, at the company and uh, shipped them off. He always had three paintings that he worked on, the one that you saw in painting that looked like he was just creating as it was going on. He had one that was a quick, rough kind of sketch that he did and one that he did that was a lot perfect. So it was three of every paintings and he would run through a season of the show um, in about two or three days. He would just do painting after painting after painting. Wow. Yeah. So, I'll try not to do any little Bob Rossisms uh, and leave that to him, but there's, there's a lot of stuff here. It, it gave me a love of painting that went on from there. Um, but, yeah, to start, okay. So, if we look at the colours along here, we've got some uh, black. I think that's an ivory black there. Uh, some t titanium white. Some Van Dyke brown. Uh, some burnt sienna, some yellow ochre, some deep yellow, uh, some Prussian blue, some crimson, some sap green, and some cadmium yellow. All of these paints are all oil paints. Some of them I've purchased um, Art Spectrum's an Australian company, so quite a, quite a nice paint they produce. Um, that would be about ten to twelve dollars a tube. Some of them are at two dollar shops. Uh, Montmartre is a, a, a brand, it's a cheaper brand, but um, my easel's Montmartre, a lot of brushes I use at Montmartre, you can buy them at $2 shops. That's about $5, what is that, $5.50 a tube. Uh, we've got some uh, low odor terps, uh, so not normal terps, low odor terps, or, or special um, odorless thinner um, that you would buy from an art shop. This I bought at Bunnings, um, just to show you, uh, what black gesso is. Black gesso is a uh, an acrylic based paint to what how we used that before. Uh, later, sorry, but how before we used it. Just to show you what uh, um, oil paint is made of. It's made of pigment and this stuff, which is linseed oil. And you can use that sometimes to thin down. Uh, but yeah. Okay. We've so got it, a message here, Sean. We've got a question. No, it's a message. Say, Vi Corinthians, please. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so what we've got here, and you might not be able to pick this up. So we have, uh, a, I think it's a 50 by 70 uh, centimetre canvas. Uh, it is, what we've done is I've painted, and I'll put up some photos later of how I did this, but with some uh, acrylic paint. Uh, this one, which my favourite one is uh, Durban's Matisse, 
Um, You've got, we've got some viewers. We've got uh, Simone and uh, Brad watching at the moment. Hey, Brad. <laughs> All right, so. Um, Brittany's there now. We've painted a bit of cadmium yellow here on the white canvas. Then we've put a sticker around that. And then we've painted over the rest of it in black gesso. Why? And then, so we've got a black <laughs> canvas. Yeah. Now, the black is really nice to show on the background. We'll get to how we can use black as a bit of a trick here. Okay. Then on top of the black uh, canvas, just very lightly, we've got some uh, alizarin crimson. Yeah. We can see, just very lightly. And you can't see it there on the canvas, uh, but so alizarin crimson. And I've, I've deviated a little bit from what Bob Ross did in this painting, which I think if you type in Bob Ross cactus, into YouTube, you'll find the original of this. And we've got a bit of Prussian blue in the mm, background. Okay. So just getting some uh, cadmium yellow, just straight onto the fan brush here. We've got a, a bunch of fan brushes. Oh, and apparently Jess is here too, Brad says. Hi, uh, Jess. Uh, <laughs> and some uh, titanium white. So we're just gonna mix that together, straight like that. And then we're just gonna take out some frustrations, straight in. And just keep it moving wherever that goes, like that. And then wherever we, we clean off the brush with the low odour turps, because I won't do that, it'll go everywhere. <laughs> if you look at Bob Ross videos, he's always up, 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 up. Deadpool Bob Ross, that's another good one to watch as well. <laughs> Hey Rowan, Rowan says hello hey, to Rowan. Kylie and Sean, hey Rowan. Back into this and we're going to go for another cloud. Just moving around wherever it goes like that. Now mixing the, the Prussian blue and the crimson together, we know it's going to give us a bit of a, a lavender colour. I'm hoping for a bit of a lavender sky as well. Mm. So, it kind of looks lavender now if you... That bit at the top, but I am by no means an art expert, so. And that's the thing, like it, it, it's art should be for for enjoyment. It shouldn't be for you know the people that say, oh look, I, I'd love to do art, but I can't do art because um, I've got no talent. Um, and I know I, I said I wasn't going to do any Bob Rick, Rob Bob Rob. <laughs> Bob Rossisms, but um, you know Bob Ross used to say in his show, art, art's only a pursuit. Uh, sorry, talent is only a pursuit interest. Cool. So, we've got we've also got Carolyn uh, Boothman here watching, and hey hello. Carolyn, and Brad has just said Michelle Laws is also watch with us. Hello Michelle. <laughs> All right. So this is what our volunteer Sean does on his day off. <laughs> he paints for us. We're going to try and keep this to half an hour as well, by the way. So we will be um, uh, we may not finish. But um, Ah, welcome Danica. We may. I I wanna see a, a joint venture of you and Danica painting one day. Ah, okay. So we're just gonna put a bit more How's that, Danica? I've just put you in there. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm in a rush. It's all right. I don't, I don't know how Bob Ross used to do it. Hey, Danica. Danica says hello. <laughs> hello. All right. So we're also going to go... Um, and here we're going to have a few little kind of wispy... <laughs> Danica wants to know why I want her to paint with you. I don't know. I just think it'd be cool. <laughs> So we're just doing a few little wispy sort of things here, like that. Do you, know, do you know what it's feeling like? What's One that? of those, do you remember the pictures people used to draw squiggles and lines and you had to make a picture out of it? Yeah. <laughs> That's what well, it's I've feeling been, like. I've, I've used that quite a bit before too. So we're going to take a palette knife. Um, what's a palette knife, Sean? Of, no, well, it's a knife for a palette. So that's a palette knife there. That's, that's one kind of palette knife. This, right. this is, happens to be my favourite one. Um, that was just cheap um, from an art shop. That, that's one that I bought at uh, Kmart before. 
Sorry, Janika says that she uh, can't paint or draw and that's why she sticks to colour books. <laughs> All right. So, if we look at this here, um, we've got a bit of a, a something. And what we're going to do, just with the, the palette knife, we're just going to take off excess paint. So you like scraping it? Scraping the paint off. Because if we don't scrape the paint off, um, at this point, on, on this painting. Oh, welcome, Rhonda. <laughs> we will end up with, hello, Rhonda. We will end up with like and, a bit of mud. Okay. And um, Catherine. Hey, Catherine. Um, and yeah, can also say uh, well done on Catherine for um, organising up a lot of these uh, live streams that we're having at Youth Space at the moment while. Um, COVID-19 is going on and so much of us, or so many of us I should say, are um, at home, self-isolating. If you are, good work. Uh, and um, I'd never done, this is my first live stream ever. And so big thanks to Catherine for yeah. organising it. Yeah, Catherine's been great in getting the staff motivated to try some live stuff. So good on you, Catherine. <laughs> Brenton's here too. Uh, hello, Brenton. <laughs> All right, so we have a nice little, we've got most of that paint off and it doesn't look like much at the moment. And the two inch brush. Uh, another fantastic website that is on the, the internets uh, is called Two Inch Brush which is all about Bob Ross and it will have a random Bob Ross episode for that day. And you can also uh, check in and, and search for a boats and it will show you every Bob Ross episode that has boats. Cool. Cause the two inch brush was his big choice. All right. So as you can see, we've taken off some excess paint and we're just going to, with the corner of the brush like that, mm -hmm. with a soft, Two inch brush, this one I bought at a hardware shop. Um, we're just going to tickle. Is so it like up. circle motions? Just in a circle motion. Cool. And just leaving that edge there. And we're just going to move up and tickle up like, like that. Okay. And every time we're just going to clean off the brush. Like that. make sure we get all that thinner out as well. Excellent. Can I just say also with um, using oil paint in your home, you will not be popular. No. <laughs> inside the house. <laughs> not inside the house. This is not an inside the house painting. It does smell a bit. It's a bit strong. And oil paint is hard to get out of your furniture. This is the, uh, and uh, now see the blue where I've, I've put the blue? We've got crimson here that's come out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And just with a little tickle here. That's kind of cool. We've kind of ended up. A bit of um, Prussian blue as well, which is a very dark blue, almost black. A bit wet there. So we're ending up with some nice lavender tones there. And these streaky clouds there. All right, so we'll just pop that brush and go for a fresh one. Now, as this very lightly, not even barely touching the canvas, we're just moving from side to side. And suddenly it all comes together. Oh, wow. That there's some cloud action. And it is. Is that what it's supposed to be? Yep. Good. Yeah, we're, we're doing well. <laughs> and so.
So it is the laziest way to do in clouds. I so love it. With our palette knife. And hopefully none of the black went behind the bit of masking tape that I put here. Ooh, a reveal. Ooh. And we just got a little bit of basket. Yes, yes. Now for me there is no way possible that I would ever be able to draw a sun like that. Or paint a sun I should say. So now just with another fan brush. Like I said, bunch of fan brushes. So the only two brushes we're using here two inch brushes, fan brushes, and there's one other one that we'll use later on, which is called a liner brush, mm -hmm. which is a very thin brush like that. So when that is wet, it has a very fine point on it mm -hmm. um, that we'll use. All right, so we're just going to get some nice feathery kind of action on these clouds. And if we wanted to, we could go back over and put some white highlights if we wanted and tease it around and work it a bit more. So just with the edge of the fan brush, we're just going to bring in like that. Yeah, cool. So it looks like Okay, so we've got a bit of a cloud there. We've got some, some white stringy. I oh, know there might be another kind of name for those clouds if you're a cloud expert. Cloud expert. Um, it's those it's weird, those. thin, stringy clouds. All right. That's... So just, just a bit of, if you can see here, that's the cheaper um, paint that I'm using there. See how there's a lot of oil in it? Yeah. And that's, that's a more expensive. So there's another cheap one there. And that's a more expensive there. And, and that's basically... Um, with paint you get what you paid for and so but you use what you can afford yeah um, so 550 compared to like $12 um, there's a lot more linseed oil as filler rather than pig, rather than good quality pigment and so, when we start when we're in the new space eventually and we have some art classes we'll, we'll get the good stuff yep and I wouldn't recommend doing oil painting but <laughs> someone yeah. might want to though all right so we're, we're going to go we're going to get this two inch brush and not worry about cleaning it. We're going to go in for some dark colours here. Um, we're going to have some brown, a bit of um, burnt sienna, so Van Dyke brown, burnt sienna. We might go for a bit of the green as well. Almost a chisel. We dropped out a bit, I think, Ben. We're right. Yep, we're good. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, um, uh, actually, wrong. No. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Let's do all of that again. I'm going to go a bit different. With a fan brush. So we'll load it up both sides of the fan brush. So just over here, um, and why not here? It can be anywhere, but just over here, we just got a bit of, bit of a, a rock that's in our desert here. A rock. A rock. You know, it, it, it just seems to. Why not? Good place for Ooh. it. Sorry, I'm. My phone just went to your live feed. That was weird. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Sit there. Apparently, I'm watching now too. <laughs> and we've got just putting in some different colours. Um, now when you're painting with oils, uh, a thin paint to a uh, thick paint, is that working? Yep, yeah, just having some connection issues. How about, bear with me, if we go, there we go, all right, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so can we see that there? We're just kind of putting a bit of a, a, bit, of a bit of black maybe too. It looks like a, yeah, yep, so a rock formation. Just some structure to it, the oil, like that. Mm -hmm. Then, I'll just clean off this pan brush.
One thing also to note with um, oil paints, you're right, what's going on? I'm good. Didn't, I didn't show any bum crack then, did I? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So one thing to show off with some, uh, some oils, sorry, she's put me off now. <laughs> one thing to uh, remember with oils is it takes a long time for them to dry. Uh, so with acrylics, you'll be very quick. With oils, you'll, you'll, you might be weeks before they... they yeah, quickly. we've had paintings you've done sitting in like the hallway for a long time just drying. Yeah, so we're going to go to some yellow ochre here and maybe a bit of the deep yellow. And we're just going to have just a highlights. I'm going to come over here. It's a bit bright now, which is good. It's nice out here. That on. Well, that's cool. Just wherever it should sit. And if we, if something just doesn't look quite right, we can get a brush and just tease it up a bit. Or the other thing we can do, if something doesn't look right in our painting, we can just... If there's too much paint there, we feel like we're doing a bit of mud mixing. We'll take it off. Another little Ooh. trick we can do is just with the palette knife. We've just had a comment that uh, this is looking so mystical. Ooh. It really is, isn't it? So yeah. Just a little row of paint. Yep. And welcome, Clinton. And we just. And Jess. I've just seen Jess added. Oh, that's cool. We're just going to add in just some highlights from, from the sun there. It's a bit Lord of the Ringsy. It kind of is. It's it. And just where we think shadows should, you know, a light, light part of the mountain should go. So is that the same yeah. colour there or is that a lighter colour? That's colour? a lighter colour that I've put in. Alright, cool. Just there. And we can, we can change that. No, no, no. I was wondering how you got it so light. That was cool. And just... Again, not an artist here. And if you've got a wriggly hand, that's good as well. Sweet. So I'm just going to get a close-up. You look like a mountain. All right. So that's... let's wipe that off. And the other thing we're going to do, uh, just with, let's grab, we've got some brushes on the go here. We're just going to get this color that we've used here, the white and the yellow. And we're just going to go down like here and make a bit of a, and just down like that. Mm. Mm, I'm curious now. Yeah. And then. Just give that a bit of a, like a feathering, like a teasing. There we go. And I think we need, we need some hills or something just in the foreground here. A, a painting, a good tr trick is to have the foreground, the, the middle and the background. So just to give it some depth. So, because at the moment it looks like we've got a sun, looks like we've got a rock there. Now that rock could be three feet away from us or it could be um, two mile away from us, we don't know. So what we're gonna do, we'll get some of the, um, the uh, yellow ochre. Don't worry about washing the brush just yet. And a bit of the, um, it's like an orangey yellow. It's, deep, it's called deep yellow. On the Bob Ross videos, he tends to call it Indian yellow. Um, if you imagine, like, you know, in a lot of Indian art, that really bright yellow. 
And so just, we're just going to tap in just a bit of a, a heel right there. And maybe another one, just. And just on the other side. Just pay some attention, just to some form. See, that's already starting to. Ah, uh, Ange just says, looks great, Sean. Ah, hello, Ange. <laughs> Yes. We're all going to be artists after this. And like why not? between you and Michelle, like so much art. The, the, and we're just mixing colour, just as it feels right. The the um the big thing with art, I think for me, is it, it's about confidence. It's just about having a go. All right. So just maybe a bit of a white highlight there. As, as things are closer, they kind of get a bit more colour, a bit more... So there's a hill there, just, just picking up some of that, that golden light. Just from you know, the setting sun there. Or maybe it's moon. Ooh. You know, we could change that to a moon, whereas in the background, we're just putting some, some blacks. And just with nothing else other than just tapping a brush and just changing some things like that. I think since we can't take Michelle's wall out of her house and put it up in um, the new youth space, um, I think this should be our first youth space donated art piece. <laughs> no, it should. What do you guys reckon? We, we need this in the new space and put it in our art room. All right, so a bit of, so now we've, we've kind of ended up with a bit of a... Foreground. And and that white bit that you put at the front is now like a real lilac y colour. Yeah, so we're gonna change that white bit a bit. Ah, oh, I like that. So just <laughs> a bit of crimson. That that's amazing what a few like you know, brush strokes can do. You've now got land there. And we're just getting a bit of a path. In a lot of the, the Bob Ross videos, he, he talks about, you know, telling yourself a little story as you, you know, you're doing your painting and you're, you're saying there's a, um, it, when he does this one, it's a cactus one. He talks about, uh, you know, a coyote up there and howling at the moon or hanging around in the sun just before it comes up and he needed a path to, to go up. Just, um, just got a message from Rowan. Thanks, Rowan. It looks cool. We should put it up in the new space. <laughs> there you go. I think we, we have a winner. So all I'm doing is just moving my fan brush. And that part is just coming down there. And I'm just moving some of the, the little deserty areas. If we think this is a desert, why not? And because this is in the dark here, who, who knows what's here? There might be, we'll just move that around and that just brings up some of that. That's cool. There we go. And if, if we wanted to, we can get this, um, uh, this palette knife and we put a bit of white with that. So it has a nice, Marble. Make sure you're wearing an apron too, guys. Yeah. Don't just wipe That's the paint on your clothes. I recommend the apron. And just here we can imagine that there's here's some rocks. We're just going to lightly 
there's just a rock shelf there like that and then if we do that and we go oh that is awful and it's just a matter of hitting the erase and then going back over it cool like that all right so how many minutes we got well that's taken us that's up it. to 130. all right well that, that's about us guys are Thanks. we gonna do some more on this one yeah we might we might leave this one or we might do something a little bit different um i don't know maybe if you guys have any questions or uh find me out some uh maybe something different to do something that's a bit brighter um than this this is the first oil painting i've probably done in about two years um so yeah um but yeah let, let me know some thoughts brad says um, awesome stuff looks amazing <laughs> rowan says thanks sean awesome thank you guys um but yeah fire off some questions uh some photos of how i set this up um i'll, I'll attach to something on the group um thanks for joining us bye for now thanks everyone bye, bye.